Hey, it's Chris and Steph from Brown Bagging Out with the Brazias. Um, last week we went up to Maine for a short five day trip to yeah. Sebago. And from there we took a three hour, 50 minute trip up to Calais, Maine, which was the closest place we could go for our physical interview for um, global, global entry, entry um, which also includes pre check for us, uh, which is nice next time we have to fly. Um, so, after getting up there, um, we had a 3 and a 315 interview. Um, the guy, the border agent, allowed us to do the interview together, which is nice, you know, considering we're a family. And uh, so we filled out the form online. We uh, paid the $100 fee each, um, which, like I said, includes TSA pre-check. Uh, you book an appointment once you're conditionally approved online. They'll send you an email. Um, so you you book online. You pick your window. We obviously live in Massachusetts, so we tried to get Logan, which is our closest international airport, which would have the customs and border agents in it. Um, they allow you to book out 762 days, and we had nothing available, so we ended up we're like, oh, we're in Maine, we might as well, you know, take advantage of the uh, Canadian border they have up there, which also um, does the interviews. So we got there early. Um, we called the number on the door. Um, the guy said, absolutely, I have time for you now. Uh, so we went in, we did the interview together. We got through the interview. They do electronic fingerprints. Um, they take your picture for the actual card itself. We interviewed with Officer O'Rourke in Callis, Maine, and he was so fun. Yeah, we, he was. We uh, made it such an easy process because when I read the email and it said, wait in your car, an officer will come out and escort you into the building, that was a little nerve wracking. So to meet with him, and he, I don't know, just made light of the situation. Yeah, he was, he, was, he was very personable. Yeah. Uh, he was funny. And then we made our trek back home i'd say he told us and it was a good tip to gas up yeah. before we hit route nine there was a couple of like rest areas that you could pull into um we ended up stopping at one so if you had to use the bathroom it was like an outhouse um but it's there for you and it was beautiful yeah. we had like, we had, like some cheese and crackers and i refilled a coffee and we were trying to think about I think Steph even mentioned in her previous video that we were going to stop like halfway, maybe in Bar Harbor or something. And, you know, you think about it, and then it's July, and then the cheapest room you could find is $450 a night yeah. just to break up a 12-hour drive. Um, we ended up just driving back. We didn't yeah. care. So, yeah. Yeah, you were a champ with that. And then we didn't know how long it was going to take to hear back. So we interviewed at 2, 2.30-ish? Yeah. We were out of there by 3.00. That Friday, we heard by Saturday night at like 11 o'clock, which was earlier than I expected. Yeah. It was awesome. So, so now, like going to bed and, you know, oh, I got the email. And then yeah. Steph, oh, Steph said that to me and then I checked my phone. I'm like, oh, great. Yeah. And then we just got our cards, I think, uh, this past Thursday. So it took less than you know, a week. Oh, yeah. 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 It was a quick process. So like your known traveler number, you actually get that as soon as you're approved before you even get your card. Um, so you put that on your you know, JetBlue flight or your American Airlines, whatever you're taking, and it, that'll allow you to get through that customs or the P TSA P track, uh, TSA pre check. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that'll be your known traveler number, yeah. which was nice, you yeah. know. And it, then once you get your card, it has a uh, almost like that C CCB CBV yeah, code on a debit right. card. So you log on to your account, say this is the code that's on the back of my card, and then your card's ready to use. So we yeah. definitely recommend it. it was an easier process than I thought it was going to be and it went quicker than oh, yeah. I thought it would and especially since we were able to get that appointment up in Maine. And one other tip is if it's it's valid for five birthdays. Correct yeah. So my birthday is next month so now this birthday is going to count as almost one whole year. So if you do it the month after your birthday, the day after your birthday, you, you get have almost five six years. more. Yeah. yeah six years. You get almost so, six years. Um, definitely and then Depending on when your passport expires, you have to get your passport updated and then update it through the global entry yes. system as Otherwise well. Otherwise, you're not included on it. So uh, just keep those things in mind when your passport expires. I think my passport expires sooner than yours mm -hmm. and my birthday. So yours will last a lot longer than mine. But yeah. I think it's still worth yeah. it. So, yeah. 
And then next week we'll get back to our regularly scheduled programming of brown bagging. Yeah, absolutely. So, thanks for watching. Yeah, thank you guys.